Stop! No, you don't <laughs> shit like that! Hello. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Razer Isker gaming chair. Beautiful. And look, I've got my Razer mask that I'm actually gonna take off. We're gonna unbox this thing and we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna sit on it. We're gonna play some games. It's gonna be fantastic. How do I start? I got a knife. A spoon? Can I un No, I won't be able to unbox it with a spoon. It's fine, just always cut away from yourself. Be safe about it, okay? So, for those that don't know, this is actually Razer's first gaming chair. One of the features that makes it different than some other gaming chairs on the market is that it has this unique way of handling the lumbar support, which we will take a look at in a minute here. <laughs> look at these. <laughs> no, have okay, you can't have any, you can't double up. You can't have anybody sit on your lap. You can't surf with it, no surfing. That wouldn't even work. Some light reading from Razer here. It's time to take your throne. What you're about to experience is posture perfect hardcore gaming to keep you performing at your best. All Razer gaming chairs offer the optimal balance of support and comfort. Min Liang Tan, co-founder, CEO, and creative director. I can hear Min saying that out loud right now. All right, first piece of foam off. I, dude, I struggle with this. This is like the gaming sofa all over again. <laughs> so it's kind of just in here. I'm sure there's directions somewhere. We'll find them. Okay. Backrest, should I just build it right here? Some more protective foam. For those of you that watched my Herman Miller Logitech and Body gaming chair unboxing, I'm gonna read the instructions this time. Don't worry, we're gonna be okay. We'll get through this together, okay? <laughs> totally. Head pillow, ooh, this is a nice feeling pillow. Feel the edge of it. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, it's like that's, memory foam. That's decent, yeah. I find with a lot of like these head cushions, the memory foam is there, but the exterior like material is usually pretty rough. This is very soft. Okay. Accessories for Razer Isker. Just in case you didn't know what the accessories were for, they're letting you know. Oh yeah. It's the seat. And I believe that's pretty much it. Designed and engineered by Razer in California. Cool, so the first thing that they have is a little leaflet about their ergonomic lumbar support system, which is really cool. So we'll, instead of me boring you with the details, we'll just show you it when we get to it. So this just shows you how to use the chair, which is fantastic. Comes with a three-year warranty, which I've got all of the info here. Hardware, which I don't want to lose because I always lose it. And what is this? Is this instructions? Oh, Razor stickers, sick! LTTstore.com. Fantastic. Okay, five casters. Casters are like a hard plastic. They feel good though, which is good. My big thing with a lot of chairs is the casters. And if they're rough, if your chair's hard to move, I don't know, I just find it annoying. No rhyme or reason to this. You should always keep your parts together. Don't throw them all in different places like I'm doing. Front, they tell you where the front is, cool. Problem number one, I actually don't see instructions. Like, I have usage instructions, I don't have assembly instructions. Am I wrong on that? So we're watching the Razer Isker assembly guide. Perfect, yep, we've got all those. That? Dude, they are flying through this. That's okay, you can always pause it. Okay, hardware is right there. Hold on, let me get this out. You know, if you got a buddy to help you build the chair, you just just do it, just do it. You know, two people are better than one I'm a buddy. <laughs> I ain't your buddy, buddy. You know, it's your, uh, your synthetic leather, you got a little bit of your carbon right there. Looks sick, look at that, eh? Cable clip. Cable clip. Front, front, yep, yep. This is the right way. Do we literally just drop it on? That's fine. Oh! She's up. The Razer Isker gaming chair. The only thing I really don't like, and I know it's their motto, I just don't like that this is stitched on the front. It's just, you know, for gamers, by gamers, I get it. And now, it's time to do what everybody's been waiting for. It's time to sit right after a word from our sponsor, Drop. The Drop Enter Keyboard, a new keyboard from drop.com made with enthusiast grade materials featuring an aluminum top plate and a plastic bottom plate with white LEDs for visibility in dark conditions. And it's available in three colors with your choice of mechanical switches. Buy it today at drop.com or the link in the video description. Time for the sit. Big sit. Oh, it's nice. Immediately, my lower back is supported. Perfect, so I believe this chair is engineered to support up to 300 pounds, up to six feet, two inches in height. I am definitely not that tall. I'm five foot six and I weigh about 150 pounds. So yeah, pretty good. I got lots of room on either side of me. 
yeah, I guess that kind of leads us into the lumbar support system that they have, which is kind of like the defining feature of this chair, in my opinion. Woo! <laughs> You can control the lumbar support with the lever on the front right of the chair, and it, man, it, it goes, it, whoop. Wow. That's insane. So it'll go that far. Obviously though, the way that you do it is pull the lever, sit back to a position where your spine is sitting in a neutral position, which would not be like this, but something like that, because naturally when I'm playing video games, I lean forward a little bit. And even if I'm gaming like this, I'm in a neutral position. So, and my back is still, my lower back is still supported, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty dope. I find with a lot of gaming chairs, they'll give you the body pillows. I went around the office before we filmed this video and most of the office has gaming or racing chairs. Not one person was using this on their chair. <laughs> These things are just tough because they don't actually, there's no customizability. So you can't actually change anything. You either have it or you don't really, right? The Herman Miller Embody gaming chair does a better job of that, but this is really, really cool. And it's a fraction of the price, right? I think this chair retails for 500 USD. Um, I, I think they're out of stock right now though. So that's a thing. So, and then the lever on the left side, that is to lock in your position. So if you want to just lay, you know, lay back, you know, you're just, you're just hanging out. You're taking it, actually, this is pretty comfortable. Back right is for the lift. So this is as tall as the chair goes, which is way too tall for how short I am. We got 4D armrest adjustability. Actually, this is kind of neat. So one thing that's cool about the armrest is the button is actually in the armrest. It doesn't like jut out. It's not like an annoying thing that like hangs out over and you like hit it with your arm or your elbow or whatever like that. So it's actually in there and it's cool. So you can adjust it, bam, forward, backward. This one you can go up, down, or you can go side to side, sorry. And up, down as well. Well, that's actually pretty sick. Oh, and a caster test. We gotta do a caster test, homies. Oh, that's smooth. Hold on. That's nice. That's actually really nice. Oh. So then that kind of just leaves us with the look of the chair. You're either into the green or you're kind of not. Um, one really cool thing is that Razer did build this from the ground up. They didn't just like slap their logo on, on the thing and call it a day. Um, they did a ton of different tests to the chair, impact resistance. They did 24 hours in salt fog for like corrosion testing. So if you're in a salty environment, this might be the chair for you. You know, it, it, it stands up. So yeah, I think the last thing we should do is game and get a few other people to come and game, you know? I really like their lumbar support system. I think every chair should have something like this. Oh, yeah, what are these easy bots? Yeah, but knives only, boy. And my back feels great. My back feels supported. The base is definitely wide enough for me. Yeah, I've got room to kind of move. I could probably like lounge a little bit side to side. I like that in a chair, you know, be able to, but when I'm gaming, forward, a little bit of this. I don't get mad playing video games. Welcome, welcome, Ed. Take a seat. Take a seat, dude. It's just a regular chair. That's what you think. I kind of hate these chairs, though. Why do you hate these chairs? They're not that comfortable. I don't need these to hug me in, right? When I'm when I'm playing a game, I don't. I don't really fear falling out of my chair. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> CS:GO. It's your favorite game, dude. Sit how you would for CS:GO. Stop! No, you don't <laughs> sit like that. Sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got lumbar support. How's it feel? I feel like it's too low for uh, my lumbar. It's it's like hitting my butt. Almost. How tall are you? My resume says 5'11". <laughs> Can I adjust this? Can it move up or down? It doesn't move up or down. Oh, I am. Interesting. So it just doesn't hit you in the right spot. Yeah. Tilt. That's normal. Yeah. Big tilt. Is that really it? That's nice. really it, dude. Honestly, with Razer, I was expecting something really dumb and like unnecessary, like maybe a subwoofer or vibrator in the back. <laughs> so overall, there's like nothing special about this compared to other gaming chairs. So since I wouldn't buy a gaming chair, I wouldn't buy this one either. So uh, Chase is our event coordinator. Uh, the reason why Chase is here is because Chase plays a lot of video games. Too many. On the right side, the front, there's an adjustment for the built-in lumbar support. Uh, here. Yep, perfect. So that'll that adjust. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
I actually find this kind of nice. I don't have it on the chair that I currently have. I'm gonna be honest, having a headrest, 100% better than not having one. That's my one complaint about the chair I currently have. You can't lean back and relax because then all of a sudden you're just, you're just going way back. <laughs> the lumbar support, do you feel that it hits your lower back in the right spot or is it like kind of hitting like lower or It higher, feels a little what? high. I don't know if that's okay. just because of uh, the adjustment. I can keep you, trying. They can adjust I, I probably wouldn't use that too much. I think same with this one. If I'm in a game, like I'm gonna wanna have it upright mm -hmm. or you know maybe leaning a little bit forward, but then that becomes awkward when all of a sudden you wanna relax for a moment, <laughs> like if you die or something. Yep. I've just found that if you come up with any chair, you're going like this, it's just, it's too much, mm -hmm. especially when you wanna have as much mouse pad real estate. Wow, I should, I, I should get you that Honestly, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Would you pay 499 US dollars to buy this chair though? <sighs> Probably not. That's because I'm kind of cheap. Uh, <laughs> that's why I have the same chair I've had for the last like five whatever years. Yep. All right, swap yeah. out. Sec. All right, cool. Well, try that Herman Miller and body gaming chair. Bring it in. How much is this one? Uh, <laughs> let's not talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Okay. Oh, let's go. Okay. I don't want to spend that much, but this is comfortable. You can instantly tell like the seat part. It's a little bit different. I feel like I can almost feel the difference in the material or just like the yep. way that they support you. Is it more breathable too? Is that supposed to be a thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you buy this or a 30-90? I'd rather buy the 30-90. <laughs> oh my God. So this brings us to the end of the video. This is the Razer Isker, 500 bucks. I like it. I really like the back support system that they have here. I'm excited to see what they do in the future. You know, is it better than these pillows? I definitely think so. It's kind of up to you guys. Um, yeah, nah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching. Check out some of our other videos. You know, check out some of my other chair videos if you really want. You know, you're in the market for a chair. You know, watch some stuff. And uh, like the video, comment, get subscribed. See ya.